So this is what we are going to make. Hey guys, I'm Monkey Master. Welcome to a new video. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing another scratch tutorial. This is going to be how to make your character move nice and smoothly, and not that where it just goes like um, it just moves a bit and it moves again, but nice and smoothly. Lovely. So without further ado, let's start. Oh, um, and if you haven't noticed, this is the first um, scratch tutorial that I've done with my voice. So please tell me which one you would rather prefer with text and um, uh, music. I mean, like that is harder to understand because you've got to read the text really fast. And I think I might have put it a bit fast, so maybe I should do it slower or put these things up that say the text instead that goes longer or something. But yeah, um, please, please tell me if you like my voice. Um, hopefully you do. Please. Um, or you want um, text. Um, it, do it doesn't really matter, but um, I'll probably stick to the one that you guys want so that I don't have to keep on changing. So without further ado, let's start. First, we're going to need a one flag click. So as soon as you click this, it should do what we want it to do. And next, we are going to need a forever thing. So we put things in it and it happens forever because we don't want it the, the moving to happen for a specific time. If you do want it um, to be for a specific time, um, for like, I don't know, like five seconds or something, or like, so, I, I, actually, I don't even know if you can do that. But like, if you want it to repeat a couple of times, then, yeah, go ahead. If you're doing it for like a game or something. But I'm just going to be showing you this, I'm going to get it forever so that it keeps on doing it for as long as we want. So, right, we've got the forever, now we need to put an if. So we're going to put, um, when when um it doesn't matter which key you start off with i'm going to start off with the up arrow key so there it is so when the up arrow key is pressed um you can do two things for this you can either put it to go in a specific direction um and um move it steps um so like you can do this steps um so um it goes like this but um, that's not facing the right direction but to make it easier so you don't have to do this whole turning thing um, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, do the changing and X and Y. So if it's up, then um, then um, going Y is going up. So we're going to change Y by 10 or how many you want, depending on like how how um, fast you want the characters to go. So um, it should it should go up um, like the key we pressed. So there we go, nice and smooth. Um, um, again, uh, it depends on like, how fast you want the character to be. You could put it at like 5, so that, that should be a lot smoother and um, obviously slower. Um, you may be able to set it faster, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, you can set it to like 1. I don't know why I'd want to do that. That's very, very slow. That's cool though. Um, and you can change it to like, I don't know, like 1 million or whatever. So there you go. That, that's, that's weird. Alright, okay, so um, I'm just going to change um, the Y by 10, and we can just duplicate this and just do the opposite of it, um, because um, going down is just changing Y by minus 10, so we can just change this to minus 10, and we can also do it so when the down arrow is pressed, so we can get this guy down and up, and now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this whole thing, so we can just put this here, oh yeah, yeah, you can also duplicate by just putting this on something and then doing that, but I'm, wow, what have I done? Okay, let me just put this back. Um, but I find it easier, it's, it's quicker to just right click and then click duplicate. Um, so yeah, um, if I can just, actually, no, because we're going to need this. So um, what we're going to do now is the left and right arrow keys. I might just take these out so it's easier to, to have a go at. So now we're going to do left and right. So I'll do left and right. Um, so this is not Y, as you can see, um, down here it says the X and Y coordinates. So in moving across, it's obviously the X that's moving the furthest. So that means that it is X that we're going to change it by instead of Y like this. So um, left is backwards. So we're going to change it by, mm, oh wait, no, minus 10. And we just duplicate this and do the opposite of that. So let's just do it by... 10 and now we can add this right here just click this and we should be able to move in any direction we want obviously you can put it so um that it changes direction it's probably best to make 
um, a different costume for the sprite and just like sort of flip it around and flip it up so that when you move it faces in the direction that it's actually moving. So you can do whatever you want with this. Um, obviously you can make it faster and slower. But um, yeah, this is it for this video and I will see you all guys later. But hopefully you guys like watching this video and if you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!